Okay, guys, one of my favourite moments in the movie comes when, after one of the many huge battles, one of the Morton Joe's henchmen just turns and goes, all this for a family squabble. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's really funny. Maybe, Maybe slightly an understatement there. I was wondering if you could start by telling us uh, where the wives fit into this story. Oh, God. Oh, so, well, I mean, the five wives, it, the, it's explained in our name, where the five wives of Morton Joe um, were kind of the only ones without diseases, we're fertile, we're clean, um, yeah, and we're kind of prized possessions. prized possessions and we're kind of locked away in this bubble for his use really and the whole story is us we get escaping taken, yeah. and Shelley's helping us and we're all going on a journey to get away. <laughs> and every, it, I mean it's, a, it's the simplest plot ever, we, you know, but, we're yeah. being chased. We're being chased <laughs> this way and that, that way. way. <laughs> That's all it is. Um, now the Mad Max world is very aesthetically sort of. Uh, it's, it's very much its own thing, isn't it? I wondered whether you guys, when you first sort of realised its place in pop culture, because obviously none of us were born when the first yeah. films came out. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I did. I hadn't seen the films when I first like heard I Either. had an audition for it. Mm -hmm. And then, but I had, I, it had been referenced a lot. You know, it's one of those things where someone's like, you know, it's kind of like Mad Max vibe. And you're like, sure, I don't know, you know. Yeah. And you kind of like know it means like kind of like weird punk something or other. Um, so I knew like, I'd, I understood that it was like this cult thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when I watched the films, I got it. And then I was saying I went to Burning Man like right before my uh, callback for this. Like I, like days after Burning Man auditioned for George. And I think I was kind of like, I get it, let's go. Like, I totally I know, get it. I understand. You know, like, I still have dust in my head. Like, let's go. And so, um, yeah, and now I'm like very, very aware and very in love with, with the world of, yeah, of Mad Max. Well, yeah, definitely. Um, Charlize Theron, of course, plays in Imperator Furiosa. Um, she plays such a strong character in the movie, and, and I think that kind of reflects her personality in real life as well, from my experience of her. What would she like to work with? She's incredible. She's yeah. Amazing, she gives it her all, and I mean, you can just kind of sit there and zone out just watching her. She's incredible. It's so cool watching her work too, just because, like, you know, you call action and she's like 150% all the time, but then in between is like then, totally then she's like silly and, and funny, jokes, and talks to everyone, knows crying? the entire crew by name, <laughs> you know, like she's just like, she's you know, she's not like. In a box, yeah, you know, in between, right she's just like all of a sudden, it's like she's furious, and then she's just like, I'm Charlie, and then she's yeah. furious, and then she's Charlie. <laughs> so it's cool seeing someone that's like so capable of going back and forth like that. Zoe, Courtney, pleasure to speak to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Lovely Thanks to so meet. Much.